Hi everyone, good morning. Let me share my screen. Okay, so earlier we discussed about some of the entry point type questions, right? Like scenario view or something. So now today we are going to discuss about some uh, data loader concept in real time questions and scenario views. Okay, so let me show navigation like okay. So, like today, the topic should be like data loader and data import wizard. Then, first of all, like why we are using like data import wizard and data loader to process the bulk of records. So, let's say in your organizations, like we have thousands of records or uh, maybe lakhs of records, something like real time data will be there, right? So, sometimes, like uh, a company, uh, uh, like clients will be saying, like uh, we need to migrate the data not for salesforce components like migrate the data right some that's in that scenario like we need to extract the data from the client uh, organizations or client environments and we need to dump it dump it to the like some other environments right so that case of scenarios like we are using like data loader or data import feature the main uh, single word of this definition should be like to process the bulk records right so what is the data import feature just you can say what is import wizard right so import wizard is a web based tool to process the bulk records right so in this data import wizard we have some limitation so we can perform up to maximum 50000 records only at a time at a time we can perform 50000 records only okay. so in import wizard we can't see the few objects okay we can't see the few objects example if there is a master detail relation between two objects then child object we can't see then child object we can't see so that's the one uh, important point and coming to other uh, another point should be like in data import wizard we can support only five standard objects account contact opportunities cases and solutions so these are the five objects data import wizard we can support and all other custom objects so these are the limitations for data import wizard okay what is a data loader so data loader is a standard standalone tool data loader is a standalone tool to pass the bulk records to pass the bulk records the minimum uh, limit should be like 5 million records sorry the maximum of record should be like 5 million records the most of the time we can use data loader only the default batch size should be like 200 default batch size should be like data loader is 200 so data loader we can support all the standard objects and all customized uh, custom objects but coming to data import wizard so we can support only five objects right only five standard objects and remaining custom objects but coming to data loader so we can perform any standard objects and any customization any custom objects so that's a different so which operations we can perform on data loader it's like what are the actions we can perform through data loader like insert update upset delete hard delete and export export all so these are the seven options we can perform through data loader right so insert insert means what like we are going to insert the new records we are going to, we are going to insert the new records for inserting purpose there is no need of record ids why because by inserting the records sales code by defaultly it's taking the uh, ID like system is generating that ID so we are not going to use any ID of inserting the records so update so while updating the records so we need record ID <laughs> while updating the records so we need the record ID right so without ID we can't update the any records right so upset what is in my upset so upset means like we can perform both operations right insert and update so upset means like we can perform the two oper uh, two operations at a time like insert and update okay so next delete what is in the delete so delete means like we are going to delete the records so delete the records based on the id provided whatever we are going to give uh, providing the id that id should be deleted and these deleted records it should be stored in like recycle bin stored in recycle bin and it should be available up to 15 days after 15 days it, it should be automatically expired right so next hard delete 
so r delete means it should be uh, cannot be find into the recycle bin so delete means like whatever records we are deleting those should be available in recycle bin up to 15 days right so while we are uh, perform the hard delete so that records get deleted and it won't be stored into the recycle bin it won't be stored into the recycle bin. that's the hard delete and export so export means like whatever we are going to export the records so it should be exporting right like uh, perform any uh, object like we can export the records based on the SOPL queries right so we can export the records but we cannot export the deleted records it should it should be stored into the recycle bin right right so while coming to the export all so export all means it should be exporting from uh, recycle bin also so export all means like we are going to retrieve the records and even deleted record also we can export from recycle bin so that's the difference between the export and export all right so delete and hard delete means whenever we are going to delete the records it should it should be stored into the recycle bin up to 15 days but while coming to the hard delete while deleting the records so we can't uh, store the records into the recycle bin so that's the difference so export and export all means so we can't export uh, records from recycle bin it's the export export all means like we can export from recycle bin also Right. these are the operations we can perform through data loader insert update upset delete hard delete export and export all okay so a data loader or data import which are which file will be supports the format dot csv file so we can say dot csv file like comma separated value dot csv file it should be a comma separated value Right. while coming to the even salesforce inspector also uh, through excel excel format also it will be accepting but it's a different case but we are discussing about only data loader and data import which are right so it's a different case yep. so what is the field mapping file file format to the data loader so what is the field mapping file format for the data loader means dot sdl so dot sdl file should be the uh, field mapping yeah. so what is the field mapping for the file format of the data loader it should be the dot sdl okay so how to insert null values into the data loader okay so how to insert null values into the data loader right so in data loader settings in data loader settings we should enable insert null value so we have checkbox will be there in data loader so go to data loader settings go to data loader settings so we should enable we should enable insert null values insert null values is the checkbox so we need to enable that checkbox otherwise we won't insert we cannot insert null values we cannot insert null values so what is external id so what is external id so generally uh, if you want to say what is external id means like uh, it should be interacting to the external systems so what is external id means like uh, it should be interacting with the external systems right so suppose uh, we have an account table in salesforce we have an account table in salesforce so suppose uh, we have account table in salesforce and account table outside of the salesforce okay so like the example like uh, csv file and sql database right so in salesforce all records can be identified in salesforce all records can be identified with record id with record id and outside of the salesforce we can't recognize the records with salesforce id so that is the reason to compare outside table and salesforce table in salesforce table in salesforce for one of the field we have to enable external id we have to enable external id so we can enable external id for text the text field we can enable that external id and number and auto number and email so only four fields we can enable the external id so that purpose we are using like external id so if we enable external id so we can compare that particular column with column which is available in external table which is available in external 
table right so while comparing while comparing if the both columns values are same while comparing if the both columns values are same then it will be it will update then it will be update otherwise it will insert right so while comparing the both tables and the both column values should be the same then it will update right otherwise it will be insert so that's the external value so okay so maximum batch size of the data loader maximum batch size of the data loader means like 1000 records and minimum should be one record so maximum size of the uh, data loader should be the 1000 records minimum and i mean minimum is the one records and 1000 records 1000 records and minimum one record so what is the default batch size of the uh, in, uh, if we enable bulk api like 2000 records right so what is the default batch size if we enable the bulk api means it's 2000 records so these are the data loader and data import which are like frequently asked questions and like uh, in real time also they will ask this kind of questions like if you enable uh, api bulk like what is the default size of the records like 2000 and maximum size of the data loader should be the 10000 and minimum should be the one one record so what is the difference uh, why 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 we are using like external id in real time so this, this kind of questions they will ask in real time scenarios as well so this is the data loader and data import which are frequently asked questions into the real time uh, interviews and even mock interviews also okay uh, while coming to uh, after this uh, data loader concept like we have some other concepts so we'll keep on posting those videos into the channel thanks for watching